L'union fait la force. Welcome and thanks for tuning in to Afri Creole. I have a special guest here with us this afternoon and I'd like to welcome Dr. Auguste. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. Very pleased to be here on your program. I wanted to have you on the show today because it's a very precious gift to be able to treat people, to heal people. What do you do? So my name is Louis August. I'm a surgeon. I uh, obtained my uh, medical degree from uh, the State University of Haiti since 1975. I've been in the United States. Yeah, I trained in general surgery at Long Island Jewish Medical Center. Then I did a uh, additional training in surgical oncology, which is cancer surgery, at the Roswell Park uh, Memorial Institute in Buffalo. And then I did a master's in public health at Columbia University. And I've been practicing general surgery and surgical oncology uh, for the uh, past uh, 30 years plus always in the uh, No Hyde Park and Manhasset area. I'm very dedicated to uh, the uh, health of everyone. In addition, I'm um, deeply committed to uh, support the health system in Haiti. For me, it's a calling. You know, I want to help the community, make people feel better. Since my field is health, I want to improve everyone's health in the community. I think it's just an amazing thing that you make it your business to go there. And not only uh, we want to bring knowledge because we want to share the uh, uh, up-to-date information that we have with our colleagues down there. Also, uh, we bring uh, medications, we bring supplies for, for the uh, operating room. Something I'll say as basic as the uh, diabetes. A lot of times people need insulin. In Haiti, it's very costly. So that a person that's uh, has, you know, let's say type 1 diabetes, who needs insulin, it is likely uh, to, to have a short life because mm. they're not able to provide the, uh, the, um, uh, the uh, medication, the treatment that's necessary. You go there to help people. What was your first interest in health? I have to tell you, I have to confess that you know, my uh, first uh, interest was in economics. As I was growing up a teenager and I was very aware of the issues that Haiti and the third world in general were facing and I felt that I could play a role in bringing development to the, to the country. So I had a talk with my, my dad who is the, the lawyer and he was a, a judge in Haiti. Very um, knowledgeable. I mean I always think about my, my dad. I said well this is great that's a very noble uh, sentiment. However, if you look at politics in Haiti, usually every government comes with the, uh, its own uh, group of people and then the, uh, they get chased out of power. Sometimes they have to leave the country. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, so uh, I don't know if um, that's something you want, you want to do. And he said, well, why don't you become a doctor? Mm -hmm. Be a doctor, then you can take care of people, you know, the same way. But instead of being on the, on the uh, grand scale, it'd be a one took one person. And then um, I thought about it. Said, oh, okay, Dad. <laughs> so I, I went. I took the exam and and I uh, passed and I got into medical school. So the first first is just basic sciences. You just looking at the. Uh, slides and, and then things about the botanic and the zoology. Then you start getting into the uh, direct anatomy, physiology, things like that. Then you have to get into dissecting uh, human beings and then the studying the anatomy. I always had that, uh, not fear, but uh, uncomfortable with uh, bodies. I said the first day, I said, well, you know, if you're going to do this, you have to get adjusted. And then, so I remember clearly, you know, we're in the, the you know, dissection room and we're assigned about 10 students per cadaver. We're standing on the table and then you had a dead body lying in front of you uh, there. And uh, with all the jitters, I said, well, you know something? I have to dive into it. Just put my hands on the cadaver. <laughs> and, and, uh, and that was it. 
Wow. That's how I overcame uh, that. And then the, um, the rest is really from caring because you care about human suffering, you want to help people, you want to learn how to make people feel better, how to resolve problems, and then that all comes from that. So I, I would say, you know, somebody like you, you, know, you, I think you could have been a great um, uh, physician, you're going to be a great <laughs> caregiver because you're a very caring person. Mm -hmm. You have to see that medicine is not just, you know, uh, blood and, and guts. Although you do have to have all the basic science, at the same time, you can go into administration if you want to, you can be a psychiatrist. Many, many, many specialties in medicine. Mm -hmm. And eventually, you develop a philosophy about life and death. Because um, you understand that you know, our lives go through many stages. You're born, you live, you get sick, you heal, you get old, eventually you die. That's life. We see that all around us. The trees they bloom in the spring, in the fall, all the leaves fall, and that's the, the cycle of life. So once you understand that, then this concept of life and death, you know, you see differently. There was an evolution. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you would have been mm -hmm. able to go through mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. yourself as well. You were able to step back and see the beauty of the healing process and what you could do to save somebody's life. Absolutely. I remember sitting in your office and I read the plaque about your service in Haiti and it was specifically talking about the time that you went after the earthquake 10 years ago. 2011 President's Citizenship Award, Louis Joseph August, MD. Dr. August, who has volunteered for missions every year for 11 years, led a week-long mission in his native Haiti after the 7.1 magnitude earthquake destroyed Port-au-Prince and much of the island on January 12, 2010. Due to the medical expertise and dedication of Dr. August's 60-member team from the New York chapter of the Association of Haitian Physicians, many lives were saved after the team set up operating rooms in a hospital that had been evacuated due to dangerous conditions. According to one of his colleagues, Dr. August demonstrated extreme humility respect, professionalism, patience, and compassion, dealing not only with the patients, but also with the large number of physicians and nurses who were at times frustrated with the conditions and devastation. For this, Dr. August, we thank you and your team for your service. God has blessed your efforts and always will. Thank you. So thank you very much. We will see you next time. L'Union fait